take a look at this situation here. And uh, again, this actually is something that, that might happen in the future. Not saying that it, it will happen, you know, next year or maybe even five years from now. But uh, this appears to be something uh, that China is headed for. And so how would that look uh, when, you're, when you're dealing with current account and financial account here? So suppose China decides to start a huge program of infrastructure spending, which it will finance by borrowing. So let's say it doesn't have its, the money on its own, so it's going to borrow from, uh, from other countries there. So how will this program affect the United States balance of payments? Okay. Well, let's assume that the money that would have been flowing into the United States is now being diverted to China, or the fact that it's, uh, make it, make it a point to say maybe it's the U.S. that's helping finance China's infrastructure spending. Um, if that were the case, then how would the current account and financial account, um, be altered? Um, so let's take a look at this here just to, um, give you an idea of not only how to answer this from an economic perspective, but from a test-taking strategy perspective. So how would you be able to answer this here? So A is current account increases, financial account increases. B, current account decreases, financial account decreases. C, current account decreases, financial account increases. D, current account increases, financial account decreases. Or E, none of the above. So let's take a look at this. Even if you didn't, if you, if you covered up this section here, let's say you didn't even read any of this, you know that A and B are absolutely wrong. It cannot be correct. Again, what, what do we know uh, the equation is being? Uh, the current account equals the negative financial account. So if one goes up, the other goes down. Or conversely, if one goes down, the other goes up. So A and B are, are just uh, wrong by definition. So you want to make sure, if you have no idea, now you're, you're left to a 33% chance here. Uh, now, none of the above... I guess it is possible that they don't change at all, but uh, this question seems to imply that something's going to increase or decrease. So E, none of the above, we can cross this out here. So even if you didn't really know a whole lot on how to analyze current accounts, just based on knowing the equation, you've narrowed it down to 50-50 uh, shot. And that's, that's a great thing to do here. Um, so if China is going to borrow, then what's going to happen is that money is going to flow into China and so their financial account is going to increase and they're going to incur a current account deficit now or their surplus is going to be reduced. Now if that's the case, if the financial account is increasing and the current account is is uh, uh, re reducing, then in the United States it would be the flip situation. The financial account is reducing and the current account is increasing. So. Uh, it's not this. This is what's happening in China. But in the United States, uh, presumably, again, uh, a lot of the funds that would be going into the United States, they're being diverted to China. And so the current account is going to increase in the United States. And the financial uh, account is going to decrease. So again, money is now flowing into China rather than to the United States. Again, something that uh, from a practical standpoint, you're probably going to see this happen. Again, we don't know specifically, but um, if you, if you again, see where the money flows and you're dealing with uh, where people want to invest money based on interest rates, this is probably the trend that you're going to see. Thank you for watching educator.com.